Hey guys, what's up? Shin055 back with another drone video. It is Sunday, so um back to doing another one of these. <laughs> anyway, um as you can tell from the title of the video and the picture right here, it's on clockwork. Um I have no idea who she is or anything about it. Apparently it's a creepy pasta, but uh, I've never heard of this one or know anything about it. I just know she's a girl with brown hair and a clock for an eye. And that's pretty much it. And this video was requested by Mary the Nice One. Thank you very much for your request. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So guys, get your pencils ready and uh, clean sheet of paper and let's start. All right. All right, guys. So to start out, we are going to draw her head, which we're going to do the gesture for her head first, which is a big circle. Kind of like every other picture we draw. Usually starts off with a circle. Um, like that. And then we can draw the crosshairs for the eyes. And the face and the nose and all that stuff. And then we can draw a little triangle on the bottom here. Something like that. That's just like the gesture for the head. And then her shoulders will be about here and here. And this hand goes down and in. Maybe it needs to be farther than that. But then you get, that'd be what her chest would be. About here. And then her waist goes in and out. In and out, like an hourglass. That, and then her hips kind of curve down like this, curve down like this, and then a little V in the middle here, and then another curve line here and here. There we go. And then her hand, which is kind of out in front, so it'd be a pretty big circle, take up a lot of area. About there. All right, that's pretty good for the gesture for now. Uh, we're gonna just jump into her face, which I'll zoom in a little bit. So I like to start out with the eyes, and to do the eyes, I basically just do a circle um, here and here, just to get them about the same size and like space away from each other. Um, pro tip, uh, an eye should be, like if you take this size for an eye, there should be that size space in the middle and then one there's one eye space in between eyes. So after you get that done and get them spaced out correctly, um, basically what I'd like to do is start off with a curve line that goes down like this, and then curve around and in, something like that. And then you can draw a little U shape on the bottom, or a circle, or half circle, or whatever you want to call it, on the bottom there. And then another little half circle here for the light reflection. Then a curve line like this. And then another little U. And you could kind of fill that in. That's her big like anime type eye. And then for her eyelashes, you basically just follow the line you made here. And just turn it into spikes at the end. Like that. And then curve it around and in. And again, you could shade this in as well. Um, looks It looks a lot better when you shade it in, so that's why I'm doing it while I'm drawing. Uh, something like that. So that's one eye. And now her other eye, it's kind of be the same thing where you kind of go up and around like this. But for this one, you're just going to kind of round it out here. And it kind of curves in. Something like that. Because this eye is like a clock. And that's actually pretty cool. That is a pretty cool character design, having a clock for an eye. Haven't really seen that anywhere. And then you're going to do a circle in the middle. And then a small little rectangle up top. And then another one over here. I don't know if... A slightly longer one over here. I don't know if there's a certain time her eye needs to be set at. Again, I didn't look up this creepypasta. So I'm just doing it uh, kind of like this. What is that, like 5 o'clock or something? Um, so, something like that. I don't know if her eye is supposed to be set at a certain time. I didn't look it up. But um, you can put it at any time you want to. So, 
Just give it a little clock hands. And then you can kind of do the eyelash thing here. You get one, two, and three. The second one should be a little bit bigger. And then shade it in. Like so. There you go. And then her nose is about here on this little curve line. And it is just a simple little curve like this. And then her mouth uh, is a little bit below the nose, so... And you start off with a curve line that curves up in the middle here, and then down a little bit. Kind of like a little cat smile, almost. But a little bit more rounded. And then a curve line here. And then just a line across for the teeth. And then... A little curve line for the tongue, and you could shade the mouth in with in between. Like so. And then you can kind of draw a curve line going across like this, and another one. She's kind of like, I don't know, like a stitched mouth, like um, that uh, girl from Nightmare Before Christmas. And then just to draw the stitches in, you just do X's. Little X's. Very simple. And now we can kind of just draw in our draw line. Which kind of goes down, around, kind of curves in about here, and then goes up, and in. Kind of like that. And now for her hair, she kind of has like messy hair, I guess. All the pictures I saw, there were just kind of spikes everywhere, but her hair is basically, you kind of get like three spikes down here. And again, this isn't an exact science. You can kind of draw it however you like. Um, but from the pictures that I've seen, they're kind of kind of all over the place here. Again, kind of hard to tell. I probably should have looked up a little bit about the creepypasta before drawing, so I know a little bit more. But, um, you know, if you need to draw something, you don't really need to know everything about it, you know? So you basically just draw a couple spikes. Um... I'd say look at a reference reference picture just to get the hair kind of right. But just kind of just draw spikes for the hair. Just kind of go down. And it's like these spikes kind of curve in around her cheeks. So it's like they kind of curve in a little bit. Something like that. Something like that. And then... Um, and her hair up here, it kind of starts about here, and then goes down and up. And then curve it in, and then goes down and out. Again, it's kind of a mess, so there's no real, real structure to it. And then you draw more like kind of bangs here. And again, again, there's no exact sign, so just like the spikes you draw, just make it look good. Something like that. And then she has two kind of like spikes on the top here and here. Like that. And that's. Oh, I forgot her eyebrows. Oh, and for her eyelids, you can just kind of draw a curve line here and then another curve line like that. Very simple, same thing over here. And then her eyebrows kind of go across like this and over. Very simple, kind of like a like a rounded rectangle with like a triangle bottom, something like that. Very basic, and now we can kind of jump into her hand since like it's in front of everything and the body kind of is based around the hand. So, basically, what I like to start out with is the thumb, and it's this big oval, like that. And then the hand would, like, kind of curve around and over, and over and around, like this. And then big circles for the, uh, fingers. And then when you draw fingers, you draw, like, this kind of curve line type thing that goes around the hand. 
And this tells you how long the finger should be. So like this finger is going to go out to here. This one will go out to here. This one goes out to here. And the pinky goes out to there. Something like that. It helps because like all your knuckles kind of curve in this way. And then, um, yeah, and since that's good enough for the gesture for now. So we're just going to jump into detail. If you want, you can draw a little curve line for the thumb. But basically for the thumb, big curve line that curves in. And round and down into the palm. Kind of same thing here. Curve around. And for the glove, she kind of has, um, you kind of draw a curve line at the end of the finger here. And then like a little rectangle that goes around the thumb. That's just like a little hole in the glove that she puts your finger through. Curve down and in. And then the palm starts about here. And now you can kind of draw on the fingers. So the fi um, your pointer finger over here is kind of going to go out, curve in, and then out, and around. It's going to kind of curve in like this. And then you're going to do another curve very close to this line, but not touching it. And just do the same thing out and over. And then back in. And again here, out and over, back in, and then the pinky. And then back in, something like that. And then again rectangles on the end of all the fingers for the glove holes. Very simple. And you can kind of draw on her knuckles here. Since there's nothing connecting the fingers, you can just kind of draw a curve line like this in between the fingers. And then you can draw a curve line in the middle here. And then kind of like another one, like a little, little hump in it, just to show like the glove bending. Like that. And then if you want to, you can kind of draw like where the fingers turn here, like little curve lines. That go in like that. Again, just to show that it's like fabric and not like a normal hand. Something like that. But we're all pretty good. And then you could draw in our little uh, fingernails. Just little curve lines that spike. Like that. This one's getting a little cut off. Yep. Like that. Just li little points, basically. like that. No real trouble there. And again, I think the hand's the hardest part because again, it's kind of at a weird angle. Hands are usually hard to draw, but it's not too bad once you get it down. So now we can kind of draw in her shoulders, which kind of just go off here. Curve down and in like that. And curve up and over. And you can kind of draw on her bust, which is just two little curve lines here and about here. Like that. And draw on this shoulder. Just down and in over here. And then kind of in like that. And like where the bus starts here, you can kind of do a curve line going in, just to show like that's where the armpit is. And then another curve line about here, just to connect the arm to it. Very simple. Now you could draw on the shirt, which the shirt kind of just goes in, and very similar to like the glove over here. We're just going to kind of draw like little curve lines that curve in. Like that. Again, over here, draw a little, you know, like little, little curve lines just to show like the fabric bending. She's kind of like bending over. Something like that. And then we can draw the top, which is just two straight lines that go down here. And then here. Same thing over here, just two straight lines that go down. Kind of curve, connect to each other. 
This one curves around and curves around. Something like that. And then you can kind of draw on her like shoulder blade or her not shoulder blades, um oh, what is this called? Your collarbone, that one. Just kind of like a curve line. A line going straight down, then curve it in. And same thing just in the opposite direction here. And then she has like a little cross in between them. And then like a little dot. And then a circle with another cross, but like the the T part of it here is a little bit lower. Um, I don't know what that means. Again, didn't read the creepypasta, so really don't know anything about it. But, um, hey, okay, there's that. And now you can kind of draw in, like, her fur coat type thing. It has, like, a fur, like, I don't know what you call it, but, but it's kind of, like, has, a like, a fur part to it. So you just go a curve line like this, and then just a bunch of real jaggedy lines kind of curve down there. Then more jaggy lines that go up and around. Something like that. Actually, it could be a little bit more poofy. There we go. Something like that. And again, you can kind of see it around here, so. Goes around. And then you basically don't do anything with her pants, because I guess she's wearing like yoga pants or something. Because they were just all black, really no detail. So, it's kind of just darken out your uh, lines here. Now you could draw on your um, fingers, which basically you can just draw a, a bunch of circles going down. And then just little ovals. Like that. Something like that. And then around your fingers, you can draw the sleeve, which is just a curve line. Then you curve it in and around. Then it kind of curves kind of out and in, and then bends for the shoulder here. Something like that. Again, very similar like this shirt. You just want to draw kind of curved lines that go in just to show the folds of the fabric. And um, and if you want to, you could kind of draw like the fur part of the jacket here, because um, you do see it a little bit. But um, other than that, that is pretty much all there is to drawing clockwork. Um, oh, and it thinks it's like pick, trying to pick up her face on the camera. Um, so yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you can draw clockwork now. Uh, again, not not too hard. Um, I definitely say have a reference picture while you're drawing her, but um, yeah, it's not hard. Just Google, you know, Google clockwork. Again, that's how I got this picture from. And again, don't know anything about her, so yeah, know nothing about the lore, or the character, or anything like that. But um, I think it came out pretty good. And again, I hope I was clear enough where you guys could follow along and all that good stuff. So anyway, guys, uh, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about this picture, please leave it in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer you. And um, if, if you have any requests, uh, the way request works is you just leave your, um, leave your request in the comments. I take your name and what you want me to draw, put it on my how to draw list, and then on Sunday when I make how to draw video, I just randomly pick one off the list that I want to do that day. Um, there's no order, there's no time, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, oh, and you can follow me on DeviantArt, Twitter, um, Twitch, links in the description below, um, and you can like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff helps, and, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you can draw a clockwork now, and I will see you guys, oh, I forgot to put up the ink version. That's right, that's what I normally do. Oh, man. I am slipping. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I am slipping. This is basically what it looks like when you erase all the guidelines and um, color it in. Or not, not color it in, but just do the ink, the ink outline and erase all the pencil. So, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next Sunday for the next How to Draw video. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.